Hi, my name's Tommy Milner. I drive the number four Corvette C6R for Corvette Racing. For a driver, their helmet is their identity, so to speak. And in sports car racing especially, your helmet is your only canvas to, to put your own spin on things and your own look. You know, in most cases, you drive for a racing team that, that has, has sponsors, and you're basically given a race suit that has certain logos on it and things like that. Uh, it's very important to me to have a helmet that looks good, that shows off different sponsors, and, and um, still kind of keeps, keeps my identity in some way. So this year, Tag Heuer Eyewear came on board with me. They wanted to have their branding basically, you know, buy the helmet, so to speak. I've kept some of the same elements in my helmet, same kind of color scheme in many ways over the last couple of years. So this was a sort of a big departure from that. The first person I, that I sent an email to was my helmet painter, Tyler Senarusa of Sensport Graphics. I've worked with Tyler since about 2006. He's been the guy that I've used for, for all my helmet designs and all, all the painting work. I knew for sure that he was the guy to go to for this new helmet. So after we talked to Tyler, the next person that, that Tag wanted to bring on board was Andy Blackmore of Andy Blackmore Designs. He's a guy that I've worked with in the past with uh, Need for Speed. He's a guy that's done a lot of liveries for cars and things like that and done some helmets in the past. He understands you know, the, the sponsor side, so to speak, and, and what they're looking for and has, in many ways, it's sort of a, a little bit of a different take on just a normal helmet. At the very start, for Andy to kind of even get going, he needed to know a direction, you know, how much how much of Tommy's old design and you know and, and look do we keep, and how much of you know the tag part do we do we build in? And obviously along the way you start adding little bits here and there, and you may take one aspect of uh, version A and build that into version C that you know that we like. So you know, and Andy started with just some pencil drawings to start with, and then from there, then he brings it all into computer again, and that then allows Tyler to do his work a little bit easier because he can take some of those computer drawings and then turn those into stencils for the helmet later on. So now that we had the design part sort of taken care of, the next important piece obviously are the helmets. The standard of the helmet that we have to use here in the LMS is, uh, is the FIA's 8860, the same standard that the F1 drivers have to, have to use. These helmets aren't just sitting on a shelf somewhere, they have to be sort of custom made and, and I've had a great relationship with Stan 21 now over the last couple of years, especially here at Corvette Racing. And so it was like this quick melding of all these people and processes and then it was like, okay, now, now let's go. So after the design process is done, there's this period in between that I don't really know what happens. You know, I mean, I, I get these helmets in this finished product and I know there's a, there's a lot of masking and painting and unmasking and remasking and painting again and, you know, lots of stencil work and stuff like that, stuff that I know nothing about. When I saw it for the first time when, when Tyler brought him to the racetrack, I was blown away. You know, I knew what it would, what it looked like on a flat 2D, you know, piece of paper, but I had no idea what it was going to look like in its final form. Just the finish on it, you know, we talked about different finishes to, to, to use on the helmet, and we went with sort of a matte finish. So to see that and to feel it, you know, and to see how the, the red and the green of the, of the tag layer shield really pop like that. I mean, some of the details on there are so tiny and so small. I'm not sure how Tyler does it. It's perfectly symmetrical on both sides. There's no edges. You can't feel any ridges on the paint there. It's a fine art. You know, it's something that not many people can do. And there's a, a lot of pride in his work, you can tell. I, I like that process of, of going through and building something new, a clean slate like that. You know, to see that process from start to finish and to have something so different, to see that final product was pretty cool.